Hello, amigos, it's your Amiga here, and welcome to Slay Spyro Dragon. In this part, we're going to be heading to the next level, which is called Misty Bog. Now, um, these, uh, this level actually has some pretty cool enemies, so I do like them. They're kind of got, like, buck teeth, and they kind of remind me of Bugs Bunny because of that. So, yeah, and whenever I see them, I just think, What's up, Sparrow? <laughs> you know? You, you'll see what I mean in a minute. But first, go behind here, you'll see an enemy. And, yeah. There's, I believe there's also... I'm a little thing, a chicken you can breathe fire on. That's something, um, I f did I miss the fodder lost? I think I missed the fodder in the last pass, damn it. I'm doing bad, aren't I? <laughs> I need to stop missing out all this important information, don't I? Well, I guess it's not too important, because you can see them in the level, but still. In case I didn't say it, in, um, Terrace Village, the fodder are chickens. And in Wizard Peak, the f wait, Wizard Peak? No, 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 it wasn't big. <laughs> oh dear. Um, it was Beastmakers, wasn't it? I think they're chickens and Beastmakers. Just double check. Yep, chicken. Now, Misty Bog, our chicken as well, as I just said. 500 gems that you need to collect and four dragons that you need to find, which is pretty cool. Misty Bog in Japanese is called Broken Palace. Which, kind of right, you know, because this is quite a broken up palace, as you'll see later on. We actually get to climb the Broken Palace and find some more gems. Those enemies over there, those are the ones I'm talking about. I'll go through the enemies' names right now. You have Boars, Attacking Frogs, Killer Plants, and Nork Dude. Very creative name, Nork Dude. <laughs> now, um, there was a dragon there, but I'll get to it in a second. I do wonder, do these enemies have different names in Japanese? I'm not going to go through all of them, but... Just think, I just want to see. This one doesn't say anything. What about this one? Be on the lookout for attack frogs. They are cold-blooded killers. Attack frogs? And this used to be such a nice swamp. But Froggy would never do anything like that. Froggy's a good guy. Froggy. Yeah, the frogs are quite annoying on this level. They poke their tongues out at you, and eh. There are good ways to kill them all, but I didn't learn that until after this recording, I believe. We'll find out in a second anyway, but, you know. This level does have trivia, but I want to quickly find out whether I do what the tactic that I found out or not. No, I don't do it. But basically, um... Actually, I guess this way kind of works. You know, that is quite a good method, but um, the way I was thinking is fly to the right or the left-hand side and then charge all of them. Now, this bit here, I usually lose all, uh, most of my sparks here. I think I do pretty good, I'm not sure. I can't remember, it's been a while since I've recorded. But basically, try and run over to the dragon once you have low sparks. And then after, it'll save the point that you're here. Although, at the moment, I completely ignore that and just kill them all first, but you know, in case you feel like you're gonna die, go to the dragon first. Thanks for releasing me. It seems like I've been trapped in here since I was your age. Oh no. Why? I remember... Uh, gotta go! <laughs> you gotta love how impatient Spyro is in this game. It's like, I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. What about Nasty Robotnik? I'm gonna go after him. <laughs> but yeah. No, trivia. Trivia for this level. Okay. A less intense version of the audio track of this world is used as the music for the closing credits of all the games in the original Spyro trilogy. That's where this music was from. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I, I was wondering, but... Because the credits move music does, does sound familiar. They did use a song, I believe, which I explained in an earlier part, so... You know, I really knew that one, but... There we go, we knew this one as well now. And... Another bit of trivia, on the cover for the game in the PAL version, Spyro appears to be in this world. <laughs> Fair enough. I haven't actually seen the American box art for this game, or the Japanese, but... You know... They might have trivia for that later on. I'm not too sure. Either way, there's a dragon up ahead. Thank you for releasing me. 
I know I said I wouldn't, I wouldn't talk, I would talk over them, but you know, at this point I haven't got much commentary, so I may as well just listen to them. The audio for them is going to be quieter than the other dragons, though, because I haven't edited it to the fact that they're like louder. Like, um, basically, whenever I go through like a cutscene or something when I'm less playing a game, I make the audio in the cutscene a little bit louder than one of the the um, gameplay audio for when I talk over it. Mainly because I like to focus it more on the game. Obviously, I don't talk over cutscenes and stuff, so it's better for you guys to hear and know what's going on. So that's just something I thought I'd explain. There, you probably noticed it, but anyway. I'll tell you what to do with those creatures. Smash them, Spyro! Stamp them out and squish them and squash them! <laughs> uh, huh. How about charge them and flame them? We are dragons, after all. I'm very cocky. I'm Spyro the Dragon. <laughs> yeah, I'm um, sorry about that. I just realized my mic was kind of going a little bit lower than my mouth. So I'm sorry if that came in a bit quiet than usual. I don't think it would have hindered it in all too much, but eh, uh, it's kind of annoying. Uh, yeah. Anyway, there are a few gems around here, as you can see. But if you go on this little stump over here, we could fly over to this wall and jump on the broken palace. If I'll do that, there we go. And there's a convenient stairway here that you can jump up of and, you know, reach to another area where there's more stumps with gems on. So yes, oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, we'll just get that again. Not too much of a big deal, even though I should have edited it out. <laughs> oh well, it was only like... I don't know, like 20 seconds. Don't fall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's more gems over here. There's this, this section here I actually do find quite difficult. I hope I don't actually die here. Yes, I do die, don't I? Okay. Yeah, I think I should have edited all of that out, but, you know, <laughs> I didn't. And I'm kind of talking over it, so... It's going to be harder to edit out, because it's posts and stuff and it's gonna seem really weird now because I'm kind of talking about the fact and fuck I hate this bit here it's just so awkward I don't know why I just can't do this bit I mean I've seen other people do it fine but I know there's that one bit there I just can't do don't know why but yeah well I can do it but you know it takes a while either way though Got all the gems now, I think. Yosh! So, yeah. Exit. And we're going to be heading over to the next level. And this level actually does have a little bit more trivia, so I can explain just a little bit more. But it's a level that I like, so I can also explain things that I like about it as well. So, yes. It's one of my favourite levels in the game. I don't know what my favourite level would be, to be honest, but... I'll definitely put this one up there, even though, like... Not many people would agree with me, because everybody who's played this game says that this is their least favourite level in the game. But... I like this level. I do like this level, it's fun. You know, it's challenging, and it's fast-paced, and it's... 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 Treetops! Yes, yeah, it's treetops. <laughs> Uh, what do you guys think of this level? I personally like this level. You got this little gimmick with um, different thieves. I believe this also makes a later appearance in Spyro 3, where they have different um, coloured thieves and they to chase. I'm not too sure about that, because I haven't actually played the game. I'm just thinking of um, from two Let's Plays that I've seen. I don't, I don't think either one is finished yet, though. Uh, um, I can't remember. I <laughs> know uh, one of them is a finish. Either way, um, this is this is just a fun level. Um, first of all, we're just going through the gems, so we're going through the rather normalish part. But later on, we'll go for the fun bit, and trust me, it'll be awesome to watch. 
awesome to play? Well, that's kind of up to you to decide, because I know a lot of people that don't like this level. I don't... I don't really know why. They say it's hard, and I kind of see what they mean, but I don't find it too hard. And I can kind of explain why, I guess, but... Either way, this is Treetops, called Speed Tree in Japanese. See? Even Japan knows why this level is awesome, because it's speedy and speed tree. Greetings, Spyro. For an amazing tour of the treetops, don't just stop at one supercharge. <sighs> I love the way he says treetops. Like, treetops! <laughs> it's just, it sounds cool. I like the um, accents it gives some of the dragons in this world. I don't really like Spyro's reaction to it that much. It's kind of goofy. Actually, no, I do like it. <laughs> what am I saying? Just like, uh, just sounds weird. That's why I like it. <laughs> so yeah, now this level has 500 gems, three dragons, and the fodder are chicken. Enemies, you've got banana boys, strong arms, green thief, and red thief. The two thieves obviously the different colours. Now trivia. There's quite a bit of trivia for this one. This is one of the few realms where Spyro does not need to do his aerial back back. When Spyro does not do his aerial backflip when he arrives into the level. Kind of like that one level in, um... What's it called? Magic Crafters. It's one of the levels there. It's the one with the spiders. I can't remember what it's called at the moment. But yeah. He doesn't do the backflip when he enters the level. Another one says, Despite being in the, in the Dragon Realms, in Spyro Shadow Legacy, Treetops is instead located in Avalar. Avalar. That is... Homeworld of yes, it's, um, it's it, it's in a future Spyro game. We will get to that. <laughs> Avalon's quite a nice place. But yeah, we'll get to it. The music in Treetops is a sped-up remix of the music from High Caves. I didn't actually notice that. Well, good job in Zomniac for reusing a track and making it sound like completely different. Because <laughs> I didn't notice that at all. And isn't is my cave such? High Caves was back in Wizard Peak. Oh, not Wizard Peak, but Magic Crafters. Spyro, if you jump at the end of a supercharge ramp, you can really go far. I'm all over it. Actually, this level has two um, connections to High Caves. This isn't trivia of the website, but I just realized. It has the speed up music of Hive Caves, yeah, but the also the thing where he doesn't do the aerial backflip when he arrives. High Caves is the level that um, doesn't do that either, so maybe it was intentional. I'm not sure, but it could have been. Another bit of trivia. There is a way to supercharge to the island containing Jed and the Green Thief without going through the whole supercharge lap. Just as you start supercharging, just turn just after you st there, just as you start supercharging. Turn right to the ramp that is originally met at the end of the supercharge setup. As you supercharge off the ramp, you have enough power to glide to the islands. And there's a link to it as well, which I'm going to post this link in the description because this might really help you guys out if you're someone who finds this level hard. Um, so yeah, that's quite interesting. Interesting. Um, uh, yeah. There is, um... I'll link the video in the description, so... Yeah. This is the original way to get there. At least I think this is the one I was Yeah, this is the one they were talking about. That was quite a ride, Spyro. You've learned a lot since you were a young glider. Yeah, well you could have found an easier spot to get stuck. It wasn't that hard, Spyro. Shut the fuck up, you moany little awesome guy. <laughs> but yeah, link in the description to an easier way to get to this island. 
it, the video shows the whole of Treetops, it's like 10 minutes long, but you can skip over to the bit um, that you need, so I'll link it in the description anyway, just for those of you that don't know an easy way to get here, because according to um, the is it Spyropedia, Spyro Wiki I think, yeah, Spyro Wiki, according to that, there's an easier way to get there, so I'll link it in the description. Just in case some of you need help on this level. But yeah, the reason why I like this level so much is it's so fast and you just... You, you've got a link, one supercharge to another supercharge to get from one destination to another. And it's just really well thought out, you know. It it makes you think, you know. It's like a puzzle. It You choose which one you want to go to and you figure out whether you can make it to a certain destination or not. And once you found out what what um area you need to, you need you've like once you found out the set path to get to an area, it just feels so rewarding and it's it's, just, it's such good level design in my opinion. And in all honesty, they made it quite um well to the fact that it is quite um difficult to fall off within this level. I have seen people die quite a lot on this level, but in all honesty. It's quite. I I personally find it quite um hard to die in terms of like okay the area I just went to with the red thief. You can overshoot the jump, yes, but if you overshoot it, then you can just press triangle anyway, and you'll drop right down. And it and you can't really undershoot it. And even if you do, you've got a bloody whirlwind right there. So they thought about that. And you so with the green one. As long as you jump, start gliding at the top of your jump, you should be perfectly fine. Yes, I understand if you die on that one, but, you know. Ju if you just jump right at the, the, the... Start gliding right at the top of the jump, you should be perfectly fine. The dragon tells you this earlier, so... Yeah, for those of you who need help with this level, I hope this kind of helped. It's kind of hard to explain, you know? But, um... Yeah, check the link in the description for a little more help, I guess. So, yeah. See you guys next time, thank you for watching, and goodbye.